What's going on everyone? My name's Kellen Reck and today I'm going to show you how to make any shot look cinematic. So you've got a whole bunch of boring footage, handheld, shaky, nothing that exciting to it, and you want to do something with it. You want to spice it up. Well, let me show you a few tricks that'll help make that footage look a whole lot more cinematic. Dive into your drives and pull up some old shots. For this example, I'm gonna use two or three shots of my own from many years ago, and we'll see if we can make them look nice. So the first shot we're gonna use is a stable tripod shot, and I've got this right here. So I'm just gonna take a chunk of it and drop it into a sequence. Now, you can see that playback. Now, honestly, it's a pretty nice shot. It's New England in autumn, but really this can work with anything. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to add a little movement. Right now we've got no movement in this shot. So I'm going to go to the beginning of my clip and I'm going to animate the position and the scale. So we'll put a keyframe on the first frame here. We'll go to our last frame. and We're going to zoom into about 105% and we're going to have the scale just pull up just a teeny bit and you'll start to see that we have a very subtle push into our shot here, and that's adding just a little bit of movement. We're sort of moving along with the cars. Now that subtle touch of movement is gonna give the shot a whole lot more of a cinematic look, and you wanna keep this very subtle. I wouldn't go more than 5% or so. It depends on how long your clip is here. This is a 12 second clip. If I had a four or five second clip, I might not go more than two or 3%. If you go too much, it's gonna look fake and like it's cruising along. We want this to look very smooth. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna give this shot a color correct. We wanna really dial in a cinematic tone. And you can find a lot of pre-built LUTs that a lot of YouTubers and Instagram users will use for their footage. However, we're gonna build our own right here very quickly. You wanna find the Lumetri color preset. Drag that onto your clip. And I use this all the time, and these are some of my go-to moves that I would do when I apply the Lumetri color preset. First, I drop on a vignette, and I'm gonna go with a negative 0.2 on my vignette. You see that nice touch there. You're starting to really get a nice little um, side darkness around the edges of your clip. Looks really nice. Now I'm gonna to go to basic correction. I wanna apply a contrast of 25, and this will depend on your shot, of course, but you wanna kick up that contrast. I'm actually gonna make it 35. You wanna make sure that you've got your color temperature dialed in. Now your top dial here, left will make it more blue, right will make it more orange. I'm gonna make this about 15. Now you know what, I'm gonna really dial in the orange for the autumn colors, we'll go 35. The tint is greens and Purple. So you can see if we go left, we get more green. If we go right, we, we get more purple. I'm just gonna go about five on this. Now these temperatures, you're gonna wanna dial in according to what you want your shot to look like. But by giving it a little of an extra color push, you're gonna have a much more cinematic look. Here's our difference here right now. And then one other thing that I wanna do is bump up my whites by 10, bring down my blacks by 15. What that's gonna do is really push the contrast just a little bit more, and you'll start to have some really nice darks in your shots by bringing on those blacks there. One other thing I'll do is I'll pop into Creative. I'm gonna give my sharpness a five, give my faded film a five, which will take off a little bit of contrast, but it's also gonna sort of mesh everything together. Um, the faded film look is very in right now. You'll see if I bump this up a lot, you sort of get, uh, not that far, you sort of get that faded look that a lot of people like nowadays. I don't want it too much, I'm just gonna give it about a five. Great, so now if we just quickly tap on and off with the Lumetri color, you can see we're starting to get a nice look. One other thing I'll do is we wanna, what's in right now with the cinema is the teal and orange, so I'm just gonna give my highlight a pull towards the oranges. We've already got a lot of orange in our trees and those are the highlights here. And my shadows a slight pull towards the teal. And it's very subtle, you don't wanna overdo this too, too much. Great, so now I've got my look built in my Lumetri color. And you could save this as a LUT, but I like to do it um, differently for each project depending on how I want the overall look to be. So, next move for our stabilized shot. We wanna add a letterbox. Now, the reason that a lot of YouTubers and filmmakers add these letterboxes is not just because they look cool. There's actually some science behind it, and I wanna do a video that's a little bit more um, in detail about this, but basically the general answer is that pretty much all video we shoot nowadays, HD video, is 16 by nine. However, 
Films are shot at a much wider aspect ratio than this. There's a couple different aspect ratios that films are generally played back and shot in. This, these letter boxes basically take that 16 by nine footage and are cutting off the top and bottom, leaving you with a wider looking shot. So that's why this happens. And that's why it gives it a cinematic look. Again, I'm gonna do a video that gets a lot more in detail about that, but I just wanna use that as a tip right now to help give your shots more of a cinematic look. This is our shot now. You can see it really does have a nice effect. We've got a subtle push, we've got nice color correction, and we've also got these bars here. So the next trick that I wanna show you has to do with handheld footage. Now, I'm sure you have a ton of handheld footage on your hard drive or wherever, and you wanna go take a clip from the past and make it look a lot more cinematic. So let me show you how to do that. All right, we're gonna take this handheld clip. We've got City of Boston again. And it's really nothing special. We've got, you know, my hands moving all over. It's, it's really nothing crazy. So let me take the best chunk of this shot here. It's not too wobbly and before I really zoom out. So this will be a much faster clip than our previous one. It's gonna be about three to four seconds. So let me show you what I would do with this. Within Premiere, you've got an effect and it's in After Effects called the Warp Stabilizer. This is a magical effect. So. What we're gonna do is just drop this on our clip and it's gonna go in and analyze the footage and basically try to correct for the shakiness of my handheld shot. So one thing about the warp stabilizer and making your shots cinematic is that having stable footage or having smooth footage makes everything just feel a lot better. It's a lot less jarring. Now, of course, if you're shooting a cinematic film that you know is a horror film and calls for handshake and footage, that's fine. This is just in general, your normal shots. Now let's have a look. See, we're getting a nice subtle movement there. And that's how the warp stabilizer totally smoothed everything out. What you can also do with the warp stabilizer if you go into effects is change the result from smooth motion to no motion. And this should mimic my stable shot. Now you're seeing absolutely no motion at all in our shot here. So what I wanna do with this is make this also look cinematic and give it a sliding effect rather than a zoom in. We're basically at this point, we now have our stable shot that we did in the previous segment there, and we're gonna make this look cinematic. So first, let's give it some movement. I'm gonna scale it into about 108. Then I'm gonna start on my first frame, position. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the left, all the way to the right, go to my last frame, bring our position all the way to the left. Now you'll see we have a nice, subtle movement. We're moving with these women as they walk and just sort of pushing along. It's actually a little bit too fast for my liking, so I'm gonna have it move just a, just a little bit less because it's such a fast clip. Perfect. So the next step in the process, let's give it a color correct. Now I can go back and I can take my color bars as well. And you can see we've got a nice cinematic looking shot here. So I hope you saw in this video a couple ways that you can make your footage, your already shot, dull or boring or not so awesome looking footage look a whole lot cooler. If you have any other tricks to make your footage look cinematic, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, if it helped you out in any way, please give it a like, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to click on the little bell next to the subscribe button, you can get notifications every time I post, which is Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll check you back in the next one. Thanks.